Hey there guys, today we are talking about how to correctly release lag in your golf swing. Now then guys, creating lag and having lag is amazing, okay? But it is useless if you don't know how to release the club properly at the bottom to let that lag release properly, okay? so. I said once before that whoever gets to the ball the latest is the greatest. What do we mean by that? Okay, that means that if the hands are here and the club head is still back, that club head has got a long way to travel in a short space of time. Now, if I suddenly stand up with my body and try and use my hands, the rate and speed that club's going to be going at, the changing direction of that club at the bottom, turnover, etc., it's going to be absolutely rapid and be really, really, really hard to time. The ball is on the face for four ten thousandths of a second. Think about that for a sec. Not very long, is it? Okay, we don't want to see this club changing a lot. But bear in mind, we've got all this distance in no time. So what we've got to be able to do, okay, from here, what we're looking at is, you've got to make sure that you are able to Move your weight into your left heel and the handle starts to work in with the opening of the upper body. So as the shoulders are unwinding with the hips, the upper body will be more open. What this will let happen is the left arm will rotate into the side of the body, into the rib cage, and the butt of the club can move around. So we could see, I've got all this energy here. I can't get any more like than this physically. I can't get any more at the minute than that. Okay, not in a static position. From there, if I let everything work around to the left, myself into position there, that's already square at the bottom. That's because the arm has gone in, which has let the butt of the club go around. That squares it up. What else it'll do? Gives us tremendous shaft lean without having to try and drive those hands any further forward, because obviously plenty far enough forward, because they're forwards and the club head is back in that delivery position, which is giving you that lag. So, Lag is a double-edged sword, guys. It's something that you'd love to have in your game. It's going to provide lots of power. It is fantastic. But if you don't know how to release that lag properly, don't go chasing it. Don't go thinking, this is something I really want in my game. If you don't release the club like that, you have to remember that you have to have both elements of those games working together. If you're a guy who jumps up, back, and uses your hands a lot, probably not the thing to do to try and change that, not in the middle of the season anyway, if it's something you really want to do, wait till the off season, see if you can start to apply that to your game then. Thanks for watching the video guys, hope you find that really useful, hopefully there's some areas there that you can take out of it to apply to your game. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so, and talk with you again very soon.